Hello everybody, Mikey Eater Panzanator here with a new Hearts of Iron series. Hello, Panzerscally. Welcome. Thank you for playing. So, we are going to start a new series. Um, we wrapped up China by wrapped up. I mean, got frustrated, cheated, and won. And so, we're going to do a quick series before a lot of resistance. We're going to do a formable nation. You can probably tell by the title. We're going to be doing the Ottoman Empire. So, um, let's see. Let's pick Turkey. And then we have some, a preset of custom game rules called the, I have the formable setup. And what that does basically is give you free war goals um, and blocks independence. So that's pretty good. Um, the reason we do these two is so you, you can start going to war before or without turning fascist as someone and uh, guaranteeing independence you can like just do whatever you want so uh, that, that that's it so that's good and uh, we'll be turkey and we'll get started so let me start my timer now that I'm done with that little preamble spiel or whatever um why are we doing why are we doing this uh, at the Ottoman Empire because we have a relatively new viewer uh, M Turk or whatever he, he's been pretty chill in chats and whatnot recently um, so you know what? I thought, hey, let's uh, let's throw a turkey a bone, and uh, make kebab great again, right? Something like that. Okay. So yeah, so we decolonized um, Africa and the Middle East uh, or and Asia. It'd be something if you could like just decolonize the Middle East because I don't know. Anyhow, because um, you know decolonizing Asia it literally gets all of this other stuff. Anyhow. What do we need to do? First off, we don't need any of this crap. More steel. Not yet. Reform Ottoman Empire. Sweet so Hejaz. We need Yemen. Palestine. Jordan, Kuwait, Turkey, and Iraq. So, wait. Let's see. Music's very loud in my ear. Let's see. So, we need. Hejaz, Yemen, Palestine, Jordan. So what is this? So do we not, not even need Syria? Yemen, Palestine, Jordan, Kuwait. Iraq, French states in Syria. Okay, there we go. So Hejaz is, so we need to take out Saudi Arabia, Yemen, and the Middle East. So there we go. Let's uh let's get started. Twenty-seven divisions. Um, one, two. All right. So we got three cavalry. This is a pretty decent army. Let's uh, make you. Let's make you a mountaineer, I guess. That'll be fine for now. Let's, yeah. Okay. Let's um. Hmm. Who should we kill first? Syria or Iraq? Iraq actually has some. Some military, so we'll we'll, s we'll do Syria. They they they're closest. So yeah, we're gonna um try and form the Ottoman Empire. We're not really gonna do a whole lot after that. We're just gonna do a quick series, especially because China ran way too freaking long. So let's do our research. Oh God, uh, being a minor nation is not fun. All right, so we got that. Um, industrial effort, research bonus for industry. Land doctrine, industry. Ooh, let's do political effort because it'll give us political power. That's good. Um, let's do a few civilian factories and a few military factories. Okay, that's good. Um, so what do our divisions have? Just infantry, just infantry. So we just need rifles. Let's get a close air support. Some rifles. And then uh, build build convoys. Alright, so that's aluminum. We don't have enough aluminum. So let's just build rifles. For now. Now we don't have enough steel, so we'll expand the steel works. Um, let's get this army all set up. Do we have a field marshal? No, you're a hill fighter, you're a trickster. We can't promote anyone. Why? 
Why? Probably because we don't have any of that. Let's get a... Let's get the... They all look... These all these guys look Mexican. Desert Fox or Hill Fighter? Let's get a Desert Fox. Okay. So there we go. Oh! Yeah, Italy can't attack them, so Ethiopia, Ali Selassie lives! This is actually not not good. Alright, what will it cost to justify a war goal on Syria? It'll cost 50 political power. Okay. So, let's actually go speed 5, honestly. That's what we're gonna do. Try and get all of these people up to full strength. And everything will be okay. So we have chromium. We have a lot of chromium. What can we build with chromium? Nothing really. Probably like some tanks or something. So, there we go. We're gonna make the Ottoman Empire a thing again. Making it great again. Well, no uh, comment. Let's see, let's do uh, normal operations, air superiority for the fighter, and close air support. We'll, we'll have y'all do your thing. Okay, so there we go. And actually, instead of doing that, do no retreat. If all of you get shot down, oh well, it's okay. Alright, so we're almost to 50 political power. There we go. So we're going to justify a war goal on Aleppo. And we'll go to war in October. There we go. That's good. I don't think they actually have any stuff. So, like, what about, like, Lebanon? What would it cost to justify a war goal on you? 74 political power. So we'll do that. We'll have two war goals going at the same time. It'd be nice if there were a setting that would, um... A setting in the uh, preset rules that would change justification time. But hey, at least it's free for now. Alright, so we got remilitarization and we got our political effort. Alright, so we could do collectivist ethos and then get fascism. Support. Which would be okay, but let's get an industrial effort. Get the... Get the war machine cranking. Alright, so... I'm not really worried about Lebanon. Let's just start justifying a war goal against Iraq. And we'll do two at a time for now. So, that's what we'll do. Um, we'll take out the big boys first, and then we'll take, like, Yemen, Jordan, Palestine. It'd be interesting if you could make a, um... Like, decide whether it's Palestine or Israel that gets released, because... I don't know, I feel like, uh... Maybe, like, some kind of, like, internal alt-history where the, uh... Balfour Declaration... You know, all the World War One, the Mandate of Palestine stuff happens... You, you, you know what I'm saying. Anyhow. So, could we promote one of these guys? Who do we have here? You are the desert fox. So let's um promote the hill fighter. Make him this guy. And let's do organization. Let's do offensive and recovery rate. There we go. Salif so Omtur Amurtak. And this. Okay, we got the naval treaty, which I don't really care about. The navy. We'll do dispersed industry. Actually, let's not do that. Let's instead do this, because we're going to get the um, research bonus. No divisions are being trained. Well, we have a... It's mainly equipment. We're, we're going to worry about equipment for now. Speaking of... Okay, this is pretty good. Alright, so we got an equipment effort. Let's do... Let's get the civilian factories. Do we have a silent workhorse? Fascist, Democrat, Industry, Crusader. So we can either have Industry or War Industrialist. What about Military? Offense? Is there like an Armor, Logistics, Naval, that's Fleet... Oh, the, did we click on the Navy guy? No. Okay. So... 
we'll do division and attack. Okay. So we get October, we get them in March of 37. Okay, we want this to go fast because I only want, you know, a few episodes before La Resistance comes up. This is, of course, just throwing a bone to M-Turk, our uh, homeboy. Alright, so we got the construction there. You see? There we go. Much better. So what do we need here? We need excavation construction three for more steel. Well, here's my question. Don't we have steel? Do we have steel somewhere in here? Let's do that. Get our extra one steel that we need. Build infrastructure. There we go. So, little, <laughs> little slow in the whole uh, industrial department. Turkey. Good for a, good for a minor power, but not exactly. Uh, not exactly, you know, that important or that much of a powerhouse at the start of World War II. Okay. So I think we take, I don't know, should we take Saudi Arabia first or like someone like Kuwait or one of these guys, Palestine or Jordan? We'll need them all anyway, but for now we've, uh, Got to take control of that. All f French states in Syria. Let's right, so construction effort. So, would French states in Syria include Lebanon? We'll find that out last. Uh, we'll justify on them last. So we need Hijaz and Yemen. And then all of this. Okay. So, this is good. Again, we're not training any more troops because. We, um, don't have enough rifles. We need more rifles. So we're trying to build more rifles. What's the penalty for resources? Oh, the, oh, it's only being applied to the, the convoys. That's fine. We got a great big convoy rolling through the night. Excavation. Eh. Let's get the, uh, the radio. Support weapons, that's good. Let's see, we've got Mountaineers. What about, this is ahead of time. Support equipment, what about all of this? Grand battle plan is generally good for like normie, normal people. Let's get, hmm. Should we even think about like maybe artillery? We should, let's research the port equipment. I think we'll be fine with just the army we start with. I mean, there's no, like, superpowers over here, but were we to continue, you know, we want to play as if we were to continue the game. So, that's that. Let's get this guy. You know, make him important. Okay, so there we go. The Mountaineers will help with the mountains. What about these Iraqi divisions? Yeah, they're just straight up infantry. So, that's good for now. Yeah, our industry kind of is not a thing. So, we'll just kind of sit tight and get construction effort, infrastructure effort. I need to turn on pause on notifications because we turned that off for one of our streams. Let's see. Let's get that resource gain. Because well, this is our plan. Reform Ottoman Empire, have all the world's oil, and then profit. So we go to like partial mobilization. What about like military theorists, land auction, research speed? Let's do that. Oh, pause. Oh wait, Spanish Civil War. There we go. Alright, so we can uh, uh, declare war. We have declared war on Syria. Let's do that. And now let's start justifying a war goal on them. We need 72 political power. Alright, so I don't think uh, Syria's actually doing anything. I think they're just kind of sitting there. They don't have an army, do they? They have no army. Okay, so uh, 
This is kind of rude and a little too easy, but... Anyhow. Y'all gonna take Damascus? Anyone? Okay. And, uh... That's mine. Alright, let's look on this thing. Do, well, does it say all French states in Syria? No, it probably counts Lebanon. Anyhow, we're taking out the big boys first. So, there we go. Look at that. We uh, won our war. Good job, everybody. Alright, so we got support equipment. What's next? November 1936. Let's start getting... Let's get like our construction too and what have you. Alright, and we want to wait till we get 72 political power or we can start justifying on Saudi Arabia. There we go. So that was good. We did alright there. You know, no casualties. They also didn't have an army, but that's fine. We're working on that Ottoman... That, that good Ottoman Empire stuff. Iraq's like, uh-oh. <laughs> Does Iraq have an air force? They do have some planes. What about us? We have some planes, too. What is this? Close air support? Why are you not close air supporting this thing? Anyways, let's get uh, infrastructure. Because I like infrastructure. And let's start justifying our war goal on... Then we need a jazz or nedged. Alright. So there we go. We got radio. Let's get 1937. Get the better in industrial stuff. All good. So we're building our factories. Trying to build up our industry to not be a pathetic rump state. We're trying to, you know, bring back the glory of one of the the greatest empires in world history. We, we gotta, gotta do a little bit better than that. So we'll take Iraq, then Yemen, then Palestine, Jordan, Lebanon, I don't know. Lebanon, Charles de Gaulle, California baseball. Dee 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 dee. Okay. All French states in Syria. That's Lebanon. And I like how the French have a, a, a soldier's trap. They're like, vous stayez ici. Oui. C'est bon. So. There we go. The world probably doesn't like us. No. People are probably getting a little mad at us. Why is it they're mad at us? Different ideology. They're doing the Great Purge. Alright, when do we go to war? It's like March. Yep. Do this as fast as possible. Yadi too many. Balls for war against Saudi Arabia. Yes. We're trying to reunite the Empire. We're trying to make the Ottomans a thing again. And uh, also test out this new rule set when it comes to um, when it comes to doing formable nations. Because, you know, I'd like to maybe play as Scandinavia or something. Just, it'd be a little difficult. It's been difficult with everything, but yeah, decolonization. Interesting. This probably means the allies are toast. I don't know, maybe everyone... Let's see, what do we got for ideologies? Got a bunch of democracies. Someone turned Kami over here. Portuguese Guinea. Alright, so we can conquer Iraq, but that is all of the time we have for this episode. We'll declare war. And then we'll justify on Yemen. Okay, so there we go. We got our wars um, rolling. Just looking quickly at what we need to do. It's not the industrial land appropriation, but we need to control Hejaz and Yemen, which we're working on. Uh, Palestine, Yemen. Palestine, Jordan, we need to work on later. Kuwait, we need to work on later. Iraq, we're working on now. And all French states, we'll get Lebanon later. So that is all the time we have for this episode. 
give me a quick series uh make formable nations let me know if you want to see more of this what other formable nations you want me to do like a series for and not necessarily just a tutorial shout out to m turk this series is for you and uh thanks everyone so much for watching until uh if you liked it be sure to leave a like subscribe to the channel hit that notification bell and join us all on the discord server thank you all so much for watching until the next episode this is mikey Panzernator signing out see you nerds